I decided to, as my exiting psychology project, to uh, make a show that was so offensive to everyone, they would have to speak about things that were important to them. They would pick a bad guy, and they could all unite together and talk about issues. I let the community know as a whole that I'm bringing an offensive show, and the community was like, okay, cool, he's gonna break down boundaries. I'm we did the show for three nights. The first two nights, everything went swimmingly, except for like one guy got up and he was kind of like, this show sucks. And I was like, I respect that. And, but this guy went to administration and was like, do you know about this horrible show? And the administration did know, but since he was a black student, they played dumb. And the problem was, what they did was they, they got together a certain amount of students, like through, be them multicultural or religious and stuff, and said, would you like to go see the show and why everyone's upset? They come to the show and they, they have like an IRA and they're like, okay, can we use this and pay to come see your show? We have some protesters, but they want to do a talk back after the show and this and that, but they won't disrupt your show. And so I, I was like, okay, fine. I had them sign. Everyone had to sign a contract coming in my show saying, I recognize this is an offensive show. As soon as we opened the curtains, we heard like, I'm offended. And I'm like, I didn't do anything yet. Let us, <laughs> let us offend you and then say I'm offended, I guess. Um, but yeah, what we had found out was um, why they're saying I'm offended, they had passed around this little flyer saying that if you get mad at something in the show, you should stand up and shout I'm offended. The administration was there and they were encouraging, like they had faculty members encouraging students to say, you're mad at this, shout down the show. And so I stop it and I'm like, okay, well we gotta get the police here because people are getting up and threatening and stuff. And uh, the, the police come in and they're, they're sort of doing their job but then I got to the song, I'll do anything for God, but I won't act black. And then they stopped and they said, if you go on with the <coughs> song, we will let the protesters get to you. So they made me censor the next song. After this event happened, um, we were getting like threats all the way to our car. The protesters surrounded us. The police let it happen because they were signing off. I'm actually going to go on record to say I'm absolutely appalled at Washington State University's response to the issue concerning um, Passion of the Musical. Um, the, the school itself in the next day papers, like our president was like, I respect what the protesters did. They spoke their mind and they shouted down a hate-filled show. This was a violation of my freedom of expression. I uh, had a friend who knew about the fire and they were like, well, this isn't right. Like at all, they like shut down, they, they censored your play. And by making me change it up and stuff, they censored your play. So I started like getting onto the school while the fire was looking into this issue. And of course, the school investigated themselves and found nothing wrong. And when they listened to the tapes, they're like, we didn't hear any threats. We heard students expressing themselves because of your angry topic. The fire stepped in and they told you know, the administration, you know, like, this is absolutely unacceptable. And um, the administration at first was like, no, this was when Chris first interacted with the crowd, he made it from a private forum to a public forum, which is absolutely nonsense because it means that any concert or a comedy show, you can go, your joke sucks, and then get up on stage and take a spot, you know? <laughs> so they were, they were working off of a non-logical standpoint. And um, so the fire came in. The school eventually apologized. Our president ended up getting the, the Spiny Award for lack of freedom of speech or something. For a show. Um, yeah, uh, they updated the student handbook saying that if you go to a show or anything like that on campus, um, and you have a problem with the show, it's under contract that you're gonna just leave now. That was my uh, passion of musical, and I look forward to doing the sequel in the fall.